The church has a big problem with prodigals. Most of us are familiar with the parable of the prodigal son in Luke 15, 11. Here, Jesus tells us of two sons. The younger son preemptively asks for his inheritance. So the father divides his wealth and gives the son his share. A few days later, the son leaves to go to a distant country and ends up squandering all his wealth on what scripture calls wild living. Soon after, a famine hits and this guy is now completely broke and super far from home. He was so poor, he just got a job feeding pigs, but he was also so hungry, he ended up eating what the pigs ate. He ends up realizing that even his father's servants had enough to eat, so he decides to go back home. Home. The youngest son makes his journey back home, and on his way, his father could see him in the distance. The father is instantly moved by compassion and runs to him, hugging him and kissing him. The son feels guilty and says he's not even worthy to be his son. The father calls to his servants and says, bring out the best jewelry, the best robes, and the best sandals. The father demands that they get the best cow to slaughter, and he wants his whole house to celebrate, saying his son was once lost and dead, but now he's found. The older son hears all the commotion, gets angry, and approaches his father. He says, I've been faithful, I didn't squander my inheritance, I've been working for you, and meanwhile, the youngest son is spending all his money on prostitutes. The oldest son was upset because he felt like the father was rewarding the youngest son's behavior. The father acknowledges the older son's faithfulness, but says it's still time to celebrate because the youngest son was lost, but now he's found. The church loves telling that story. The compassion of the father welcomes us back in even after we've sinned against him. I'll admit, it feels really nice and cuddly to hear that message preached when you're sitting in church. And while I do agree that that story is a great reminder of love and compassion, I think the church completely misses the point. In a lot of ways, the church has a double standard with the story. They love it when it applies to all that God did for them, but they have a really hard time putting it into practice when it comes to having compassion for others. Right now, I want you to think about a type of person that your church now or the church you used to attend wouldn't accept. Maybe you've been pushed out or know someone who's been pushed out of a church because they didn't fit that particular church's brand of Christianity. Maybe it was a sin issue. Maybe they held different political beliefs. Maybe they held different theological beliefs. Maybe they were pushed out due to sexual orientation. The list goes on and on and on on why people are pushed out of the evangelical church every day. So first, let's state a few obvious things. Pushing people away from God and or Christian community is not how the story of the prodigal son plays out. This story explicitly teaches us that we're supposed to meet people with love and compassion, regardless of their actions. It is worth noting that the youngest son only came back home because he was starving. He admits to his dad that he was wrong, but nowhere in the story do we get the impression that the son repented or changed his bad behavior? If he still had food and money, he probably still would have been out with prostitutes. He came home because he needed shelter. So many times the modern evangelical church offers family, but only if you align with their particular brand of Christianity. The moment you don't fit that mold, you realize very quickly you weren't really family at all. It's super obvious to me that the church loves to have its cake and eat it too. Love, compassion, and forgiveness is great when it's offered to them, but when it's time to offer those qualities to people who don't think, look, or act like them, the church will pull out every scripture in the book just to justify excommunicating those people. This is just one of many reasons why statistically people are leaving the evangelical church in droves. Personally, I believe the church's hypocrisy and unwillingness to look like Jesus is a major factor on why the deconstruction movement even started. Now more than ever, the church is leaving people spiritually homeless because they don't fit the mold of their brand of Christianity. Meanwhile, Jesus tells stories of love and compassion that the church refuses to put into action. For the most part, people aren't walking away from church because they hate Jesus. People are walking away because the church that preaches Jesus looks nothing like him. So just remember, when we read stories like the prodigal son, Jesus thinks you are better than being excommunicated. So if that's you who was hurt and pushed away by the church who looks nothing like Jesus, you're honestly probably better off.